Hello comrades, Master Schwinz again, and um, I'm gonna continue our let's play of uh, Crusader Kings 2 Sword of Islam as the now freshly crowned Khan of Vulgar Bulgaria. Um, let me check up on what I wanted to do next. I actually have no idea. All oh, right, maybe I wanted to go to Mecca. Yeah, I need more wives though. So let's do this first. And then we're Head off. So, um, I realized that there were some problems with my recording, especially the sound. Um, that got out of sync late. Uh, I hope I fix that now. Uh, I'm using as an, uh, another program to record my voice and then I will have to cut it together. So I hope it will work just fine. reading them out but uh, I watched the first video and I if you want to read all of this uh, you can pause the video it's just like some random occurrences yeah that happened on the travel from here to Mecca which is a little bit of uh, uh, a pretty long distance and I lose the seat for I don't know if I like that <laughs> okay, I want humble Yeah, I think our next step would be to take land from the Samoyeds, or maybe we could sneak in to get a... Uh, that would make the armies of Rus hostile to me, I think. Maybe. Well, he is pretty... He's in war with three of the major Russian countries. The thing is, he's still... Oh no, he's not a Rurikovic. Uh, if you haven't noticed, the Russians always start with the family of Rurikovic, every last one of them. He's not, so he's not allied with all of them. So I could sneak in and grab some land. But I think I would do it. Which one though? Oh well, doesn't matter really. Uh, yeah, they're exactly the same. So I will take Nizhny Novgorod. Let's do it. Yeah. The thing is, uh, I don't know if I will be able to hold it because uh, it is part of uh, the jour part of a uh, of a duchy that belongs to the Russians. So once they 
are finished with the rebellion, they might become for me. So, okay, I'm back from my pilgrimage. I can press and reclaim on the f ah, right on the Fatimid. Uh, yeah, I don't think I will do that. <laughs> Do I have a son? Yes. Okay. The thing is, I have a son. So, uh, I feel like uh, uh, you need to balance a little bit the prestige hit you get from not having enough wives and not having too many children. Uh, because uh, I want to avoid the big, um, the big uh, succession crisis if I can. I probably can't this time around because I'm just 17, and we'll have many, many sons before this is over. So, yeah. How's my decadence? Zero. Um, um, actually, uh, I, I I played yesterday with some uh, mates of mine from my regiment, a multiplayer session, where I played as the uh, Emir of Ghana, and we had a lot of fun. I actually was able to drop my uh, decadence to 0%, which in Increases the moral of my army by 60%, which is insane. <laughs> Alright, and I wanted to develop my con countries a little bit. Okay. That's one big Russian army. Mercenaries, just to be safe. Thank you. Who are you? My brother. Right. I do have a brother. I'm pretty sure he will revolt. Uh, maybe now, maybe after the the war is over. Let's see. Will you give me my? Why not? if I should take on the Russian army just to slow them down and let's see if I can oh no no need to thank you I spent my army, I'm sure my... My brother has a 15% of revolting. Yeah. Oh. I will increase crown authority. Uh, crown authority g gains me more troops. With whom I can fight uh, more wars, and that's what I intend to do. Uh, also, I will hold a Furusia, well, it's a tournament. Gets me prestige, and I lose the decadence. Who is this?
Okay, he wants to revoke the the castle. Yeah, what am I advise us doing? Yep. Okay. So expand it a little bit. Something like that. I don't know. Okay, let the tournament begin, and one of my wives is pregnant. Yeah, my brother declared war. Okay, and. Brendan Dude is now a champion. And yeah. Let's take the land of my brother. Second, for Marshall four. He lucked out, I guess. And another random dude. can't do anything with 124 men. So I will take him. Provinces in the north. I wonder if it's even worth it to take them. But uh, I need to expand somewhere. So, yeah. So I already got kind, which gives me diplomacy. I will cruel. I won't get it. Okay. So he's imprisoned. Who is he? Why is he a pagan? Did I give a county to a random pagan? Oh no, he is a... Right, I conquered him. Well, never mind. He will... Eventually. 
he have a son already? No, he doesn't. So, rework his title. Thank you. Good job. Someone yet have taken Bjarnia and they're at war again. <laughs> Defending <laughs> against Bjarnia. So, next step will be taking land uh, from these guys uh, nope I will have to uh, have to check out uh, which one I want to take well they both suck all suck all your cults will be destroyed when I take it because I'm a pagan. So I will take Glynos or something like that first. And yeah. I hope he revolts. I can then take his land and give it to a proper Muslim. I guess. Yeah. Well, as I said, we started a multiplayer session yesterday and it turned to an all nighter. <laughs> so I played to like 5 a.m. or something like that. Uh, I was playing as Ghana, well, and I found Mali. And I pushed back the Amoravids a bit to the de jure borders of, borders of Mali. And I took some random provinces in Spain. A friend of mine was playing as the Aftazid and was destroying all the Christians. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we have one player who plays as Toulouse and uh, he will be vassalized by uh, Muslims, I'm pretty sure, someday. So if you hear this, Lucius, we're coming from you. <laughs> yeah. Birth of the Assassins. Okay. The Shiites have founded a a holy order. It is in this game the Hashashin, the Assassins. Uh, yeah. I don't think I will be able to. No. Sucks to be Sunni. He's in, he's in an endless war against the <laughs> his, his his mayor or his baron. So okay, this war ended. How many allies does he have? None. So 
someone told me I can look up his troops somewhere here. Right, there it is. Okay, he can raise 2,355. Interesting. I can raise 5,000. Well, 4,000 at the moment. I'll wait a few months more. Thing is, I got too, too much land on my hands. And I really don't want to give it to some random courtiers, but I think I will have to. Oh, I hold a second castle here. I forgot about that. Yeah, and I like to ha have multiple castles in the same province just because my advisors will improve all of them. So I will focus on one province of the Spulga right now. And I converted people. Wow. Let's get to work. Five percent chance. Another pregnant wife. Okay. So improve relations. How am I doing? Whoa. For some reason they hate me. Okay, I'm an infidel. I really want him to like me. I want his money. I'm okay with money. Well, considering that this area of the map is like, oops, really poor. Could be worse, I could be stuck here. Uh, but yeah. Okay, I think my son is six, so I can educate him. And should I give him a military? No. I will stick to stick to stewardship. Um this is maybe not the most OP thing to do, but another son. Uh, I like to do it that way, just because it will increase my domain size limit. And yeah. Let's have a look at Sokal of Luga, Bulgaria. I think it's time to time to invade. Yep. Let's do this. Okay, declare conquest for Lunov. Okay. 
Yes, Shamra too, yes. And I like to stick to the uh well to the uh chivalric uh, uh traits and try to avoid sins if possible. Even though the Muslims have a little bit of different view on them than the Christian rulers. But uh, they're just And he's... is he at war with someone else? Yes. Conquest of Siri? What? Onega? Ah, right, okay. I think he hopes I will get his army crushed. Do I want that? Yes, I want that. So I can... So he can uh, benefit from it. Okay, my imam died. So, well, I want the job. No. Nope. Okay. What is my? Oh, amass wealth. Well, maybe I should do that because it gives me one stewardship. Stuk. It sounds like uh, I'm half Polish and Wielki, Wielki is, uh, is a, a great or big uh, in, in Polish, so it might be the big Ustuk, whatever that is. Kopi, uh, no, uh, the chief Kadi, and he will gain it. I don't know what. I don't care. Doesn't seem like it has a uh, big impact on anything, so. Dangerous, uh, except when you old, when you're old, uh, or got your health reduced by. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Murphy's Law. I just talked about it. God damn it. Well, I'm dead. So fuck it. My seven year old son took over as the Khan. God damn it. I was just talking about that's not really a problem and then bam, it was a problem. <laughs> So, you are good. I like that. Teach me. Okay. I need to give away land to provinces. I won't give away this land. That's all the. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Too few men. 
Dang it. Who are you? Do you like me? No, he hates me. Who are you? Do you like me? No, he hates me. I don't care. Maria. And... Let's get one noble. Yes, he took, he took it. He will become the... Okay. Yes. Well, that wasn't necessary. Ah, uh, yeah. Should have waited until I'm... Could have uh, just assaulted it, I guess. Are you willing to give it to me? Yes, yes. Thanks for that. And again, Lunov. I think I'm gonna cut it here. <laughs> uh, we lost uh, Khan Atrak the Young at age 24 to an illness, and his son Akkad the First took over at the age of seven. Yeah. Well, we see where we go from there. I think we will slowly gobble up the summer yet and then maybe we go into Finland before the Swedes or the Norse Norway Norway can do it but I think we won't get it in time and then we have to fry some bigger fish but until then thanks for watching bye